2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And in this arena, you can feel the tensions mounting with each player introduction. That's playoff basketball. Stick around. We're back after this. A critical game four coming your way in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Thanks for joining us for postseason basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson at the table with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. And now the opening lineup for New York. Randall and Robinson are the tandem inside. Jalen Brunson is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward. And for Philadelphia, Harrison and Bede are in the middle. Maxi out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Oubre in at the three, small forward. You take a look at the 76ers. They'll be pouring their hearts into this game, hoping to take a commanding lead. This is indeed their best chance to take control of this series. It should be an intense game. And it's the Sixers to start out. Lowry, the pass to Embiid. Lowry into the lane. And it's good for two. And Lowry willing to sacrifice his body to get into the fight. Brunson with it. Oubre picks him up. Pass to Brunson. Six to shoot. Shoots over Oubre, and that one's good for Brunson. And that in-between J, Brunson capable. Maxi passes to Oubre. Inside, here's Embiid, and he lays it up and in. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball, and whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. To the paint, I don't know, Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And there's the foul against Philadelphia. At the line for the Knicks, OG and Anobi. Two shots. Free throw is good. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Harris down low. Checked by Randall. Oubre can't hit. And here's New York now. Even Chinto pass to Robinson. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Well, he's a physical big down low, and I think he expects this kind of traffic around him as Mitchell Robinson comes through. And so it looks like the Sixers will retain possession here. Still Sixers ball. Passes to Maxi. Just five on the clock. Back to Harris. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Outside, DiVincenzo. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Oubre. And now the Sixers on the break. And an OB against Maxi. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Now that was a clever adjustment. <laughs> that was a tough shot. You know, showing off a little bit on that one. That's a play when your coach goes, no, no. Okay, good play. Get back on defense. Now here's Harris. The shot off that time. Good work defensively by Randall. Anobi against Oubre. It's OB good. And, and they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Pass to Harris. Back to Lowry. 
Embiid passes to Oubre. Shoots over Aminobi. They get it back. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. And that's the hunger that Embiid plays with. He just gobbles up the miss and goes back up for the score. To the middle. Second shot opportunity. And the layup is good. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Here's Embiid. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the 76ers. Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Molding himself into one of the most dominant centers in the league, Embiid has really come into his own. Embiid against Robinson. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Robinson's got his second basket of the game. Fading away, he buries that one in traffic. Takes great body control to make that one go. Embiid. And here's another one for the Sixers. Yeah, the big man Embiid, just capable of sticking it from these in-between spots. Timeout call, the Knicks. Timeout, Knicks. It's time for t -shirt. the Knicks now trailing by two outside Ananobi over Oubre and Ananobi gets it to go on the assist by Brunson man he's got that touch working tonight shooting the ball very well to start this one outside Oubre good work defensively by Robinson there's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Man, what focus. I mean, the hoop and the bar. <laughs> Incredible. Shooting for New York, OP and OB. At the line for one. So Lowry will bring it up for the 76ers. It's a three-point game. Pass to Embiid. To the inside. The jump hook. Oh, Robinson with a block. Hard to score when Robinson's down there being a factor. And he gets that one. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Maxi passes to Oubre. Shot to stop the run. Drops in the three. For New York, they've gone 8 of 10 shooting. Here's Randall. He gets it in there. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Lowry with it. And there's a three-second violation. Three violation. And the 76ers will have a different look here. Reed's checked in for Harris. Heald comes in for Oubre. Melton, he's checked in for Maxi. And Payne is subbed in for Lowry. Brunson passes to Ananobi. And it's blocked by Embiid. You have to be aware of Embiid at all times. He's an outstanding shot blocker. And there's going to be a foul. He definitely made contact with the ball. And in doing so, also got the body. So we'll see free throws here. The 
Free throw drops for Melton. Josh Hart's checked in for DiVincenzo. Drops them both. The Knicks with the lead. Pass to Brunson. Back to Ananobi. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Ananobi's got 10 points in the game. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Payne against Brunson. Payne with the bucket. Throwing off his defender to get to the shot. Campaign with a nimble move. Payne against Brunson. The shot from the low post is good. And the Knicks lead by four. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. All right, everybody, a lot of sex. He gets a free T-shirt. Who wants the shirt? in for Robinson, and it's Boyan Bogdanovich in for Ananobi. Pass to Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Blocked! Pass break, New York. Here's Hart. Off target with a jump hook. The Sixers trailing. Payne with it. Handles in his pocket. Payne, pass to Reed. Payne with it. Using his post moves to get the two points. Payne's got his second basket on the night. The interior trying to make it tough on Payne, and he just found a way. Outside Brunson. Fires the three. Nails it from three. Brunson. Brunson's got seven points in the game. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. To the paint. Here's Payne. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And he's such a unique talent at both ends. Embiid with the vision that time. Here's Brunson. Banked it in off the glass. Nine points in the game. What a quarter right here, establishing some confidence. Four of five, shooting the ball. And that one's good. Melton. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Now here's Brunson. Nine points in the game. Outside Bogdanovich. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability. And they showed it with that tight coverage. That's his first personal foul. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for New York. Well, great play down low. I mean, you expect the defense to adjust, collapse maybe, but that should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. Well, whether the defense is inviting these shots or not, they've been great in the mid-range. And so producing from there, that bodes well. And he drops the first. Achua's checked in for New York. off on the second. New York has gone one or two from three-point land so far. 
second chance shot. The shot's good by Hart. And the Knicks lead by four. Sometimes plays take extra effort. Usually it's Josh Hart who will be the one to make it. Embiid finds pain. The three counted from distance. Payne's got nine. He still hasn't missed. Four for four to start the game. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 156 left in the first quarter. Bogdanovich on the wing. Guarded by Heel. Here's Hart. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. This is the area Hart likes to shoot it. He doesn't take a ton of threes. Pass to Reed. Back to Payne. Melton on the wing. And there's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's his first foul. And great job to establish position and square up. The Knicks with the lead. Outside Hart. Pass to Brunson. Let's it fly. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Now indeed. Healed on the wing. Defended by Bogdanovich. Healed passes to Embiid. And again, it's Philadelphia. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. Now here's Hart. Outside Brunson. 76 is foul. Tobias Harris checked in for Embiid. Personal foul. Third team foul. Coming up to the floor for your sixer. Tobias Harris. Pass to Hart. Bogdanovich on the wing. Four on the clock. Over heel. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. For Bogdanovich, sometimes those mid-range jumpers feel like layups. Heel passes to Payne. No good with the triple. It's been all about Jalen Brunson for New York. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. 37. folks thanks for joining us all right guys what's your take on the Knicks so far well so far they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end they couldn't ask for a better one right now just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes wonderful start and New York shooting 74 percent just an unbelievable offensive display here Tobias Harris out there with Paul Reed then it's Kyle Lowry. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. And it's Oubre in at the small forward position. That's the group for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. Great positioning on the putback. And the Knicks lead by seven. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Here's Lowry. Maxey on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Oubre. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Oubre's got five points. Well, Oubre has the height right there to get it done and uses it well. He's able to score inside. Paul Reed. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Knicks, Julius Randle taking two shots. Knocks down the first one. During his breakout season with the Knicks, Julius Randle, I think, has another level to his game. It's about that consistency he's trying to get to. And he's an all-NBA caliber player when he gets it going. A 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And Maxie's got the ball here for Philadelphia. They trail by seven. Harris finds Maxie. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got four rebounds in the game. And it's Achua. That time on the assist from Randall. Achua's got his second basket of the night. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Maxie passes to Reed. Lowry outside. Oh, there's the alley. Throw it down on the lob. And you make the next pass. Nice job by Lowry there. Brunson. 11 points in the game. Here's Hart. Good on the bucket. Hart's got six points. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. For New York, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Randall outside. Back to Brunson. Up and over Lowry. And Reed pulls it down. Philadelphia has gone three of six from deep so far. Down low. Harris. And Harris throws it down. That's a strong finish from Tobias Harris. Now a timeout called by New York. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. For the Sixers. Robinson, he's checked in for New York. Adenobi comes in for Hart. Brunson passes to Randall. Inside. Here's DiVincenzo. Goes to the fadeaway. And the Knicks lead by six. DiVincenzo, not the go to shot to be in the mid range, but that one looked like it was in rhythm. Embiid finds Lowry. Good. And the assist to Embiid. Embiid's got three assists now in this one. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Can you believe that's their first turnover? Good ball security has really helped them build this lead. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Harris passes to Lowry. away takes a 13 footer again the Sixers score we've seen that more than once today an effortless basket inside Randall against Harris Randall good Randall's got eight so creative on offense Randall getting more and more comfortable handling the ball and understanding where he can get to on specific possession. And there's the foul. It'll go on Julius Randle. That's his first foul of the game. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Here's Harris. Lowry outside. And here's Oubre from the arc. Connects from downtown. Oubre's got his third bucket of the night. So big for this offense and crucial that Oubre can continue to knock it down for them. Robinson finds Steven Chinzo. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to go on Tyrese Maxey. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Knicks, Dante DiVincenzo.
That free throw no good from DiVincenzo. They've been knocked down from the line this quarter. Trying to build out their lead. It's both from the stripe. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Maxi passes to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Back to Embiid. Embiid muscles through the contact. The control and focus from Embiid. Able to absorb hits from the defense and still finish. Outside, DiVincenzo. Yes. And a nice assist from Brunson. DiVincenzo's got nine points. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's got nine. Clock at six for three. Randall and the Knicks. Another three. The balance and body control look a little bit better this season, so Randall stays on the ground in this catch-and-shoot situation and looks fluid. And Philadelphia calls time here. And the other team is running all over them right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Sixers making a change here. Heald's checked in. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Hartenstein's checked in. Embiid finds Oubre. Oh, they get a hand on it. DiVincenzo with it. Oubre picks him up. Pass to Brunson. Fantastic work down low from the crafty Brunson. As much as you like Jalen Brunson, he believes in himself more than you do. Confidence translating. Brunson against Lowry. And now the Knicks on the break. Jumps up. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. I, I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the board tonight. Randall. Randall. Good. Assisted. Yeah, it's strong, Jaylen it's Brunson. athletic, and it's left-handed, so tough for guys to adjust to that. Randall, tough matchup. Embiid passes to Harris. Oh, and again, unable to change momentum here. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Randall. Over Lowry. Shakes him. Randall, good. Randall. Randall's got 15 points. They have no answer timeout, defensively timeout. inside. And Philadelphia calls time here.
the Sixers with some changes. Melton, he's checked in for Oubre. And Payne is subbed in for Lowry. Bogdanovich has checked in for New York. Now here's Payne. He's got nine. Back to Harris. They still need this. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. They'll pin that one on Julius Randle. He's a good free throw shooter. Tobias Harris smartly looking to get in there and find some easy points from the line. First one falls. I feel like Tobias Harris's confidence has grown over the past couple seasons, especially on the offensive end. Very capable of taking advantage of smaller defenders. And Harris drops them both. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink it. And here's Brunson from the arc. And again, and New Brunson. York with the triple. Four, three. Well, you got to respect Brunson if he's going to knock down threes like that. Harris finds Melton. Here's Embiid. And rejected. Now Brunson. 16 points for him. Bogdanovich, no good. To the inside. Melton. One-handed slam right there. Well, healed right there on the yield, waiting for someone to get open. Pass to Hartenstein. Outside Bogdanovich. And again, oh, New York oh, with the triple. Got to D him up better than that. He's simply too good from beyond the arc. Payne, pass to Embiid. Here's Harris. Shoots from the line, and there's Payne. That one's good. And the assist by Harris. Yeah, defenses are aware. Campaign is going to come at you. He's going to attack the rim. They play him that way, so that mid-range does open up for him. Now here's Brunson. And the Knicks, another three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Payne, pass to Melton. Out to the right wing. Left side, Payne. It goes again. His sixth basket and seven tries. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Melton. Reed's checked in for Harris. Achua's checked in for New York. Hart comes in for DiVincenzo. Achua for three. Sends it home That's from three-point land. Three. Achua's got seven points for the quarter. Twelve straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Here's Payne. It's deflected. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And there's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's foul number two for him. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Now here's Brunson. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin of the game. Achua for three. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. Achua's got ten. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Pass to Melton for three. Sinks it from distance. And Payne just playing eyes up basketball, seeing that opportunity. Here's Brunson. That one's true. And that's nine for 12 for him now. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. Payne, pass to Reed. Back to Payne. 46 seconds left to play in the first half. And the shot goes in. 15 points in the game. And this might be one of those nights where the coaching staff has to extend campaign minutes because of how effective he's being. And that one's good for Brunson. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. 
Up top, Payne. Brunson defending. Embiid's shot is good. Yeah, good things happen when Embiid has the ball in his hands. I mean, this guy can do it all. They're not leaving any points at the free throw line this quarter. That's the best way to protect the lead. Fourth team foul. Shooting for New York, Jalen Brunson. Taking two shots. And he makes the first. Well, the lefty listed at six foot one, Jalen Brunson, is a bit of a different matchup. He's just so physical and he can play on and off the ball. Here I call it funky. Both free throws, good from Brunson. The smart play. Wait and take the final shot. Yeah, every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. Pass to Embiid. And it's in there. Embiid's got six here in the quarter. You're going to have to do a lot more than that to stop Joel Embiid. And so it's New York up 19 points as the quarter comes to a close. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have this poise for a blowout. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ball game? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, there's a definite postseason buzz in the air. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. And guys, for the Knicks, to keep the series competitive, they know they have to win tonight. And that pressure has brought out the best in it. They don't look like a team that's willing to go down three games to one in this series. They want to even it up. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Knicks. Their effort on the glass, absolutely key to set the tone. They wanted to send a message with their physicality, and they wanted to dominate on their end. Really terrific performance thus far. Shaq, what'd you think about Philadelphia? They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. You can't match up physically, you're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Philadelphia, please welcome to the court your Sixers ENT. Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. Yeah, we had a feeling he'd step up in this one. So far, playing at the top of his game when they really need him. Still interesting to see if in this second half he can find ways to get to those same spots. And thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. So on the floor for the Knicks, Randall and Robinson are the tandem inside. Jalen Brunson is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Ananobi in at the three. Now here's Randall. Five to shoot. Shot is up. Cans it with nobody near him. Randall's got 17. Nice play by Julius. Good decision maker in the pick and roll. Shoots from 12. Embiid can't hit. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for New York. Brunson. Two shots. First free throw is good. Oubre, he's checked in for the Sixers. Yeah. 
Harris. That misses, so he splits the free throws. And Harris has got the ball here for the 76ers. Here's Lowry. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. And Kyle Lowry, such a bulldog out there at the point guard position. Just not afraid to go down inside. Mix it up. First one falls for him. And when we're talking about guys who just can think the game of basketball while they're playing it, Kyle Lowry is up there with the best. It just shows up in every aspect of his game. That one misses. New York shooting a sensational 78% from the field in this game. Brunson looks it over. The layup falls. Jalen Brunson. Brunson's got 28. Oh, great move there from Jalen Brunson. Flashy. Maxi passes to Embiid. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the Dante foul. DiVincenzo. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. New York on D. They lead by the biggest margin of the game. 23 points. The instincts on defense on full display there. It was a gamble for sure, but it paid off big time in the form of a steal. Harris outside. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. Harris has gotten his third basket of the night. Brunson passes to Robinson. Pass to DiVincenzo. Three-pointer off the mark. Yeah, just the first miss of the half there. They have to be happy. Three of four to start it off. And they pick up two. Maxi's got seven. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. Here's DiVincenzo. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four of five here shooting. Terrific start. Maxi with it. He has seven. And the shot goes. Maxi's got four points now in the quarter. Okay. Good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. New York calls timeout. Once again, your 76ers, ENT, give them the hand. and passes to DiVincenzo. Randall outside. Shot clock at six. Here's the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Oubre. Uses the glass on the layup. Oubre's got ten points in the game. Well, assertive play there from Oubre just being aggressive and not bothered by the touch. And it's out of bounds to New the York Knicks. Ball. New York will retain possession. Nice deflection there. Really trying to disrupt their offensive flow. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. And it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. That went off Lowry. Knicks ball.
handle outside. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. You wonder if the coaching staff is encouraging these kind of nights and aggressive play from Randall to take over. And the 76ers call time here. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. He's getting loose and doing work. They want to talk this over and find some answers. against DiVincenzo. Lowry, the pass to Oubre. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got six assists here tonight. Hard to shake Oubre's focus right there. He's locked in and scoring the basketball right now. Philadelphia's gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Lowry, the pass to Harris. It's good. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Defensive foul. Julius Randle. Had the chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Knicks. I mean, they've been sinking shots from mid-range, and they found a gap there in the defense, and they just continue to exploit it. All game long, they've just done a great job of keeping the pressure on the defense and penetrating with the pass. They've gotten everything inside, and they've converted there. Now here's Brunson. 30 points in the game. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Outside Maxi. Pass to Lowry. Outside Ubre. Five on the clock. Let's it fly. Oh, made it a tough look for him as the defense really pressed up on him. And Adanobi gets it to go on the assist from Brunson. Jalen Brunson. Brunson's got his seventh assist here tonight. Pass to Harris. Count the basket. Harris has got 13. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Brunson with it. Guarded now by Maxi. Ubre against Ananobi. And he banks in the layup. Ananobi's got four points in the quarter. So far, he's a can't miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. Who poked away? That's good. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And here are the Sixers now, following the bucket by the Knicks. Maxi against DiVincenzo. And Ubre gets it to go. Can't lay off Ubre that far. He's good at taking advantage of that separation. Timeout, timeout. And the Knicks call time here. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. Here comes your Philadelphia 76ers EMP, everybody.
76ers with some changes. Reeds checked in for Tobias Harris. Heald comes in for Oubre. And it's Melton in for Lowry. Oh, got that one up quick. Brunson's got nine points here in the second half. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Embiid finds Maxi from 15 feet away. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Maxi's got eight here in this quarter. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Here's Brunson. Lays it up and banks Damon it in. Brunson. And the Knicks lead by 16. Doesn't get much easier than that. Hart was licking his chops when he saw his man wide open. Healed against Ananobi. From deep, Melton. Another three for Philadelphia. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. New York ball. The 76ers making a switch here. Payne's checked in. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Bogdanovich has checked in for Ananobi. Now here's Brunson. He's got 36 points. And they call an illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Payne against Brunson. Goes up at the stripe. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Payne's got 17. Payne likes to get in there and score the ball. He can do it in a number of ways. New York, no good that time either. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. That's pretty much not how they do to end the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow in there. Brunson. it his way through. Jalen Brunson. Oh, that takes such tenacity just to get in there. Brunson battling through the inside contact. Payne pass to Heald. Over Bogdanovich. And the 76ers tack on two more. Ooh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. The touch by Brunson. Nice. Yeah, he is at his best. When it matters most, this game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. Melton outside. To the middle. Achua with a steal. Here's Bogdanovich. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Bogdanovich just got his third basket on the night right there. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Pass to Embiid. And here's Heald. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Heels got seven now in this quarter. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from it. And Hart with a basket on the assist from Brunson. Brunson's got eight assists in the game. Defense making it difficult for Hart, but he stays tough and gets his shot. Now here's Embiid. He's got 17. Pass to heel. Six on the shot clock. Let's go with a three. The offensive rebound. Controls the rebound and the putback. <laughs> Those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Brunson against Payne. Let's a floater go. And a nice Brunson. layup by Brunson. Brunson's got 42 in the game. You don't need size to score in the lane. It's certainly helpful, but you can see Brunson there with that little teardrop. Who's going to stop that? Now here's Melton. Heels for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Heels got ten points in the game. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Brunson finds Bogdanovich. Baseline jumper, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. 
Heel against Bogdanovich. And the basket by Heel. Heel's got 12 points now in the quarter. Heel showing more ball handling there for you. He can be slippery. Here's Brunson. Oh, and he hits it the end of the at the buzzer. Great job ending the quarter on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. Team is pumped up. And so it's the New York Knicks in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining 2K Sports and our coverage of this first round. We've got Kelly Oubre. Paul Reed is out there with Tobias Harris. Then it's Kyle Lowry, and it's Heel in at the two. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. DiVincenzo pass to Randall. Shoots from the elbow, and he knocks the jumper down. Randall's got 21. Wow, they're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Lowry outside. And the 76ers, another three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Here's Brunson. Soft touch off the glass. Brunson's got 46. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Heel. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Well, Heel plays with such drive and intensity at all times that he just can't help but create a foul shot with that opportunity. Heel. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. But Buddy Heel just has such an incredibly quick trigger. And the Knicks making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Heel hits them both. The Knicks with the lead. Here is DiVincenzo. Here's Randall. And that one falls. Now 10 for 12 with that make. Attacking the heart of this defense. That's eight straight points inside. Lowry, the pass to Heald. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got his ninth assist of the game now. Here's Brunson outside. Oh, Brunson with the triple. Is it possible his sweet touch is getting sweeter, guys? Lowry, the pass to Reed. Now here's Heel. Back to Reed. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Rock the baby. Working the size advantage inside. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Just his first turnover of the night. He's been poised and he's been focused. Maxi, he's checked in for Heel. Now it's the lineup for your 76er. Pass to Harris. Here's Reed. Robinson defending. DiVincenzo. Pass to Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. And sometimes the simplest play is the best one. DiVincenzo made it. Oubre with it. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen is the call. Well, he played a seamless first half, but in the second half, some poor decisions right here. He continues to throw the ball away. DiVincenzo, pass to Brunson. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. 
Randall, good. Randall. Trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. Pass to Oubre. Hook loose. Stolen by Ananobi. By himself. And the big oh, dunk at the end of the break. I, I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. And he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. Maxi finds Oubre. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Oubre Jr., Difficult play there, but That's finds a way to get foul. to the free throw line. Second team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Kelly Oubre Jr. And that one falls for Oubre. Oubre, the more he plays and gets into a rhythm, you start to see some of that confidence. That's going to help out the team. Now here's Brunson. Another bucket! Wow! Brunson. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. Lowry against Brunson. For three, Maxi, And that comes off the assist by Lowry. maxi has got five points in the quarter. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Now here's DiVincenzo. Outside for Randall. Clock at four. And the Knicks, another three. Massively improved from the three-point line. Randall, a weapon here from deep. Pass to Oubre. Shoots over Ananobi. Misses off the left iron. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Randall, the pass to Brunson. Over Oubre. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. And very few teams rely on mid-range jumpers nowadays. But that's been their preferred way of finding points. Maxi against DiVincenzo. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Sixers, Tyrese Maxi. That one's off. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the Sixers. Good on the second one. New York has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Left side, Brunson. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. To the paint. Here's Lowry. And the basket is good. Lowry's got five points now this quarter. Now he's been doing this for a long time. Nobody scares Lowry down low. DiVincenzo. Pass to Robinson. Here's Ananobi. Another one falls for New York. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. You can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Lowry, the pass to Oubre. Shoots over Ananobi. Oubre can't hit. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go.
Brunson passes to Ananobi. Here's DiVincenzo, and it's New York with another. And DiVincenzo growing in his confidence as he works on his jumper in the offseason. It's showing up here. Maxi finds Oubre into the lane, and he makes it on the layup. Oubre's got 21. Now he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Down low. Here's Randall, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. That's his second. And how about Randall just collecting and absorbing that hit and still fights to get a shot off. Shooting for New York, Julius Randall at the line for one. Philadelphia has gone 4 of 4 from outside during the fourth. Robinson with the block. Now Brunson. Throws it up high. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Brunson. Hurts to see that kind of mistake. Coach is going to be on him about that one. And Maxie's got the ball here for the 76ers. Trailing by 19. Embiid passes to Maxi. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Tries again. And the finish by Embiid as he lays it in. Embiid's got 19 points. I love the confidence Embiid plays with, especially this close to the rim. Pass to Randall over Harris. And it's Randall that time on the assist from Robinson. Mitchell Robinson. And the Knicks lead by 19. And the 76ers call time here. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. Not sure what the defense is thinking or if they are. They continue to let him shoot. That is bad defense. Take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Jalen Brunson. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. Yeah, they were on thin ice in this series. He knew it, and he went out there and did something about it. He wasn't about to let them go into a 3-1 hole. Philadelphia has gone 4 of 4 from outside during the fourth. Harris with it. DiVincenzo picks him up. Outside Brunson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. There's another level to DiVincenzo's game, and it starts to happen when he attacks like that. Shooting for New York, Dante DiVincenzo. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. And for DiVincenzo coming into the league wanting to prove that he belongs, he's done more than that. It's about building his confidence now. Both free throws good from DiVincenzo. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Now here's Lowry. Fires the three. Ooh, he's locked in. Dreams his fifth shot in his many attempts. 
throughout his career, Lowry's been a threat from that area. DiVincenzo against Maxi. Outside for Randall. Six to shoot. Two minutes remaining. In Here's Ananobi. Nice shot from the wing. OG Ananobi's got 22. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. No, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Rips OG down the breakaway OG. slam. Hands of Randall starting that possession. Lowry, the pass to Oubre. Here's Embiid. Robinson with the block. And with time running down here in game four, we've got to give credit to what a terrific performance it's been for the Knicks. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And this evens up the series at two games apiece. They came Jaylen in and Brunson. did what they had to do. Now locations will change again. And this puts them in a great position. Going forward, they just need to stick to what they do best. And what a huge performance it was for Jalen Brunson. So impressed with this performance today. He was confident, he was composed, and the defense just didn't know how to adjust. Here's Brunson after the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Randall outside. Pass to Ananobi. The three ball. And the Knicks, okay, another Ananobi. three. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Mitchell Officials Robinson. call the foul, and he'll take that two free throws now. Personal foul. Robinson. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. With the depth they have at that spot, they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss. The first one falls. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Outside Brunson. And so it's the Knicks taking care of business in this one. A huge victory for them, nodding this series in two. We've got ourselves a series, folks. Neither team with much of an advantage. It's a tight one. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Dante, you won state titles in high school, two national titles at Villanova, and now a growing role in the NBA. What has been the secret to your success? It's my ability to adapt. Um, different teams, different dynamics of different teams, and uh, just my ability to adapt to that team and fit. The sky's the limit, guys. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long and good night, everyone.